Okay, Blighty Boxing with Frank Warren and Queensbury here at the Peacock with the gifted young light heavyweight, Carol Littorma. How are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good. Now, 5 and 0. Productive sort of a opening year or so for you in the pro ranks? Absolutely. So, obviously, had my first proper year in 2021. I uh, got four fights under the belt, um, all on TV, all, there was, it was just great. Considering the condition we were under, the pandemic and that, um, it was great to get out and box, and with spectators as well. Because the first one I had in, uh, well, 2020 December, that was behind closed doors. So it was great to get out of there, great to uh, box on TV, great to have the fans in, uh, um, spectators, um, it was great. When I came to see you in the very early days, before you made your debut, we were kind of, nobody knew where we were with the pandemic and everything else, and you were wondering, would you be fighting in September, would it be the following year, there was a backlog of licences, wasn't there? But all of a sudden, it, you did a last minute one, didn't you? And then it, everything was off and rolling then. Absolutely, because obviously, like I said, um, my manager Francis called me and said, oh yeah, you're not going to be boxing in 2021. So I was like, okay. Uh, but then I still start still training in the gym, ticking over, still training, developing. And then when we got the call that we're boxing in December, we took the opportunity with both our hands and, uh, and then we got the ball rolling. Why don't you mention that you're getting the television coverage your pedigree deserves, you know, given you're an Olympic medalist, gold medalist. That brings with it a lot of scrutiny, doesn't it? I mean, your every move is being analysed by the, quote, experts. But it does mean it kind of means you can't afford a, a bad night at the office, doesn't it? I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, in my opinion, it's all about it's all about having a plan for myself and keep it on that road. Everyone's going to have an opinion. Everyone has different opinions, and that's what makes us human. Everyone's opinion is different. However, as long as I'm developing the way me and my team hope me for me to develop, I think that's, that's all we can ask for. Um, because when we start thinking about other people think of us, that's when we think it's complicated. <laughs> so I just like simple stuff, develop, and the marginal gains each fight. Obviously your opinion counts, and Dan counts the most, but the opinion of a Hall of Fame promoter, in his own words, said he's got titles written all over it. That must just give you a little boost inside, doesn't it? Absolutely, like it makes me, it does make me happy and I'm grateful to be part of Queensbury. I'm grateful to be in a stable because um, there are some amazing young prospects coming up, as, as you know for yourself. Um, and I'm grateful for the privileges that I'm getting each time to box, obviously March 11th, uh, chief support, so I'm, I'm grateful for all of it. But it's obviously a testament, again, to yourself and how well you're doing, how well you've settled into the pro ranks, and people are just looking at it going, yeah, he looks the part, you know. I mean, you've got to take the credit yourself, haven't you, really? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, um, it's a blessing to be here. And, you know, like, for example, today in this media day, um, not many boxers have their first five fights televised. So um, for all of it, it's just all about developing, all about keeping my feet on the ground and learning, 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 learning. Learning never stops. I know you're quite a studious sort of guy and you like you say you map everything out in your own head and you say everything's marginal, marginal gains. But sometimes after a fight, I do sometimes look at you and go, come on Carol, you could smile. Yeah. <laughs> Has that been mentioned to you before? Literally, prior to that to me all the time. My manager's like, yeah, yeah, you got to smile, you got to smile. Um, I, need to, I need to get better at that. I need to get better at smiling. It's, I don't believe that's a true reflection of how I feel because inside I'm happy obviously to be there. Training comes to hard, so the boxing is the, the part I enjoy. So yeah, I'm going to bring my emotions out a little bit more. <laughs> I know they're sort of, um, you know, that you're in fights you're supposed to win at the moment, but you're still doing it and you've done it and you've got to be feeling a little bit happy, isn't it? Yeah, of course, I'm, I am, I'm happy. I'm going to, that's the part I've got to improve on. Smiling. You've got a nice smile, so come on, you've got to use it. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, finally, I know you probably get asked this all the time, um, your brother's just turned 17, one year away from uh, exploding into the heavyweight ranks. Excited? 
very, very, very excited. Um, me, my coach, and the, the people around us know how good he is. And it's just a matter of time before everyone else knows how good he is. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about his journey. When it happens, will you two be working alongside each other? Yeah, yeah, I, I believe so. Like we've got, um, we've got a great relationship. We're under the same coach, Dan Willage and Dan Willage Junior. That's um, what I mean, so you'll work together, yeah? Exactly, and we're same SSC coach, Jordan Vine. So we are under the same roof. Good job you get on, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Carol, brilliant talking to you again. Good luck on March 11th to get her number six under the belt, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much.